What's the safest way to send a spacecraft to touch the sun? You have to do it at night, so the sun is sleeping. Oh, that is just... Boo! Yes, thank you. Boo! Okay, well, dad jokes aside, NASA did something super futuristic, and of course, there's cool video. The Parker Solar Probe was launched in 2018 and has been speeding towards the sun since then. Recently, it reached its destination as it ventured into the corona. No, not that one. And definitely not that one. But the solar corona, made up of intensely hot plasma, it forms an aura around our star. It's essentially the sun's atmosphere, and now a probe made by humans has flown into it. And as you might imagine, it ain't easy to survive that trip. The spacecraft has a four and a half inch thick carbon composite shield to help it deal with temperatures as hot as 2,500 degrees Fahrenheit. Hoping to avoid a modern day Icarus flying too close to the sun, the calculations were precise to allow this probe to zoom past the sun at 430,000 miles per hour, making it the fastest man-made object ever. So how's the view from the sun? Well, this is actual video released by NASA showing streaks of superheated plasma flying past the craft. There are a couple of really interesting things to see here. That feature right there, it's the Milky Way, which is the rest of our galaxy with billions of stars like our sun. And then you see those two little dots there. That would be Jupiter and the Earth, that's us. So in a way, this probe traveled 90 million miles and just snapped a really zoomed out family portrait. And scientists are learning a lot about the sun, which is kind of important considering none of us would exist without it. As for the Parker Solar Probe, it'll keep orbiting the sun, making three more close passes over the next few years. If you're gonna try to catch a glimpse, just make sure you got your shades on. I'm Dan Amaranti, Fox 61.